first try maybe. Feeble, Smith. Oh, I almost had that, but my feet got caught over the edge. Alright ladies and gents, so an order has just come in, some new grips, and a set of wheels. That's gonna stay under there for a little while. I have acquired another item. That's a box. Guys, we have ourselves a new helmet. Let's go ahead and unbox it some more. God! Almost fell. Here we have ourselves a new helmet. All right. I'm going to put this on now. All right. This is a lot tighter and is... Yeah, it's got a lot more padding. So yeah, that's really good. So yeah, see right there, a triple eight helmet and a glossy purple. Remember the color purple. So that's all for this unboxing. See you in a long time. Yeah. Welcome back. And now we have a little something special here. Super small, so let's go ahead and open it. Okay, that did, not, that did not work. Some person in her car just looked at me super weird. I don't blame them. All right, we did get like a hole started in the side, so we it here. All right, got it, the package back. This is a very lovely package. So it should be in here. Yep, I see it. All right, as you can see, this is Oath's logo uh, on the side. You see Oath clamp, very nice. Um, I'm really looking forward to using this clamp and it's like, it like weighs like nothing. It like, it's so light and it's exactly what I wanted. So that's all for this section. I will see you guys later. What's good everyone? Welcome back to this segment. And here we have a box. Uh, try and guess it if you think you know what it is, but let's go ahead and crack this open. That didn't work, this tape is surprisingly strong, so I actually need something to cut this, it's that strong. All right, I think that should do the trick. It did do the trick. Let's hide this for a sec. That went flying. All right, so up first, take a look here, an ethic I guess you can imagine now, an ethic fork. Yeah, that's basically all for this segment, and I'll see you whenever I get my next part. All right, welcome back, boys, to our next segment. This one's gonna be short, but we are also in the change of scenery, so let's just get straight to it. This big thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it straight away for you guys. Just now got into it, and as you can see, Aztec fork, super sweet, nothing special. If you do remember, I did get the Mara fork, and I'm going to be using that, but I got this warrantied since my other one broke, 
So this one's going to be used as a backup. And this colorway is the ruby colorway. It's basically just pink. Yep, everything's normal, everything's cool, and that's it for this segment. See you in a little bit. What's up everybody, welcome back to the segment. And today, we're getting super, super, super close to the main part of this video, but today, I have a small box. Something simple, you know. Let's go ahead and open it. Easy open this time, I don't have to freaking smack the box. And then it's right here. As you can see, it's just a headset, nothing much. So this is gonna be a really short part. It's basically all for this, and I will see you in like four days. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back. This is like after I got everything. This is a little additional thing. Kind of relates to my helmet, as in padding. So this is only the first part, but as you can see, we got ourselves some knee pad like lock-in recaps. All right, here they are. They look beautiful. Just, you know, purple lock pads. And yeah, I will see you when I actually get my new pads. <laughs> See ya. Welcome back, boys. All right, it is the next day. We got our pads in, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these babies. Here we have it. Um, just gonna try and unbox them here. That really hurt. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta do this box. All right, so here we have it, boys. I basically just got them in all black, which looks super sleek and super, super, super nice. And yeah, what you do to unbox these is you leave just like tear the top off here. And then you just like kind of pull them off just like this. There's one. I'm gonna take the top off of this one too. And there's number two. We got ourselves the purples. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off and put the purple ones on. Should look like that once it's stuck and then you literally just put it down. And yeah, that's what it looks like. It's all black with a purple pad. So yeah, that is all for this segment. What is up everybody? Welcome back to this segment and this is my favorite part of the segment because as you just saw, I have an Apex deck, which is freaking insane. So I'm gonna remind you of all the parts that I have in chronological order, just so we can get refreshed, you know. All right, so first we got our grips. These are the Oath Bermuda grips. Next up, we got Root Industries Air Wheels. Next up, we have Oath Carcass Clamp. Next, we have a fork. This is the Ethic Marrow V2 fork. We have our bars. These are the Styles Pro Scooters Ben Bar in black, 25 high by 24 wide. And we have our black headset. Last but least, we have our Apex deck. Look at how beautiful this box is. I'm so excited. But the main part of this section is to unbox the Apex, so. Let's go ahead and do that. I already unboxed this since it was a birthday gift and my birthday is the 12th, so happy birthday me! But anyways, getting your first Apex deck is like a child on Christmas when you're six years old. It is the best thing in the world. <laughs> and here the freak it is, look at this. Apex ID deck. I got a purple Apex ID five wide by 19.3. Also custom graphic on the bottom. I really like how it looks. It's like a kind of retro -y style. And yes, this is like the holy grail of what I've been saving for since February 2nd. So we have all of our parts now. So let's go ahead and build the scooter. Holy crap. 
All right, so before we get started, we're just gonna do a brief look over on my scooter that I'm currently riding, and yeah. So first, cut up Fusion X grips, same bars except for the not the bend. Uh, the Scooter Farms tractor clamp, this is one of the best clamps I've rode, without a doubt. Then, currently, some random headset, I don't know. Moving down, we have the Aztec Circa Fork in the ruby color, V3 also. Then we have the um, Lucky Prospect deck, and look at the size of this crack. I've been riding that for so long. Also, we have one Aztec wheel, and one, I have no clue where that wheel came from. So yeah, that's what it's looking like, and we'll also do a drop test. Yeah, um, I'm super excited about building this new scooter because I'm tired of using this piece of junk. So, let's build it. All right, here we are. I'll probably be sitting down and standing up a bunch, but we're gonna start top to bottom and just kind of build it that way or build it the way a scooter's meant to be. But we're gonna start off by putting the grips on these bars. And, so yeah, I got the grips, got the bars, and Let's just get building to it. I'm actually gonna put on some music so you guys just sit back and enjoy and watch this brand new Apex Pro scooter come together. So, let's do it. All right, we're back. Uh, my camera kind of lost storage, so it kind of just cut off, but I did end up finishing the scooter, and oh my God, does it look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. All right, here we have the brand new Apex Custom Pro Scooter. We're gonna go top to bottom like the other scoot and do a drop test as well. So we have Oath Bermuda Grips, Styles Pro Scooter Bars, and the Bend Oak, Oath Carcass Clamp, Ethic Marrow V2, Root Industries Air Wheels, and an Apex 5 wide ID deck. Oh my God, is it beautiful. So yeah, you guys ready for this drop test? Cause I am. Yeah, that is so much better and it's actually dialed. I can't believe it, but yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get a quick montage of the scooter cause it absolutely deserves one. And yeah, then I'm heading to the skate park later today and we'll get some clips on it. So I'll see you there. All right, so before I head off to the skate park, I just wanna say, I did buy all of these parts except for the deck, and I just wanna say huge, huge, huge thanks to my parents for buying this Apex deck for me for my birthday. It is an absolute blessing to have the best parents in the world, and I'm so thankful that they buy stuff for me. And yeah, that's really all for it, and let's go to the skate park. All right, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the clip section of the video, and yeah, as you can see, with the brand new scoot right here. We're at this lovely indoor skate park called The Rat. And I think we're just gonna warm up on this little street section right here. So, let's go. Cody. Trying to do a triple whip. I can tell you right now I'm not doing a triple downhill. Go ahead and huck our first bry spin. I mean bry flip. Nice little finger whip, you know. Yeah. Come straight back around, throw a kickless. Yes. We're just gonna keep working our way up from the uh, bry. So umbrella next, bry whip next. 
whip umbrella next, buttercup next. It's kind of like one more tail up each time. Here we have the umbrella. Very lovely. Yes. Around we got our whip umbrella. That was disgusting. But I did land it and it wasn't sketchy. Let's trick thy buttercup. Very nice. I almost forgot, but we have to do an inward as well. Ow, my booty. Get this inward. Yo. Alright, next up we're gonna do some board slide tricks on this very nice down rail. First up is a normal board slide. Yup. Trying to do a board heel now. Very close, but not it. Yeah, he called it too. Alright. Try and run up a front board. Lots of speed. Very beautiful. Alright, heading back to the boards. We're trying to do a board bar spin. Woo! Next up on the list, we're going to try and do a front lip. Yummy! Alright, moving on up to a bigger quarter, we're going to try and get some bigger stuff. So we're going to start off with a dry double whip. Tons of speed. First try, baby, let's go. Alright, next up on the list, do kickies whip and heel kicky lifts. Nice. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna implement the last trick into one of them, so we're gonna just do a kick this bry. Very nice. All right, we're gonna try and do a finger double whip. All these are first try, holy crap. All right, let's do some easy addition. What do you get when you put a whip and a butter together? Hey, whip buttercup. That would've been awesome if I got that first try. Oh my God, I stomped that. All right, what do you get when you do a butter and two whips, but you subtract one? You get a butter whip, but I can't do them. Again. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put some wax on our deck because our next trick involves a grind. First try, maybe. Feeble, Smith. I almost had that, but my feet got caught over the edge. Let's try this again. Evil. Oh, I didn't lock into it. Shoot. I'm saying third time's the charm. Evil. No. It lied to me. All right. Evil. Smith. Oh, the brand new wheel just got smoked. It should be easier. Evil. Smith. Right. Let's go. All right, I already know this video is getting extremely long, so let's do a quick board slide down this rail, and then we'll end off the video. I want to test this out because I have a five wide, and that makes grind so much easier. Oh, very, very exquisite. All right, well, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day. See you guys later.